So we got this sister that talks about women that say they want a good man, but when they really get him, they really don't want him. Let's review it. I made a post the other day about women wanting a good man until they get one. So I'm going to explain myself a little bit here. Now, I did not pull this information out of my ass. I didn't read it nowhere. This is what I've seen with my own eyes. I've seen women come out of bad relationships, get with a good man, a man that truly loves them for them, you know, take on their kids and all, take all they and love them. Right. And they be happy as hell at first. You know, they so glad they found a man. They so glad they found somebody who actually loves them for them. Like they, they hype. That's they man. That's they boo. That's they husband. Half of them even get married. Then he becomes boring. All this mother do is go, um, go to work and come home and go to bed. And what is it that you want him to do? Those that have those thoughts, what what did you want him to do? He has to provide for a household. When you're providing for a household, you're going to be kind of tired. I've worked 12 hour shifts before, so I know how that is. Some men even work 16 hour shifts in some jobs. You're going to be tired. So you're going to work. You want to come home, get a meal, go to bed. That's really kind of what a lot of men do. As we talking about decent men. Now you sorry, men, Pookie and Ray Ray, men that have nothing going on in their life. They got all the time in the world to, to run the streets, do this, do that. They got the time, but men that actually got something going on and men that actually love their families. Because if a man don't love his family, he's always ripping and running in the streets all hours of the night in this woman face, that woman face, that woman face, and that woman face. If you really don't love his family, but men that love their families, they're going to be home with their families. All he want to do is spend time with the family. He don't never go nowhere, never do nothing. He just want to be stuck up under me all the time. Ugh. Okay. And that's an issue being with the family where he, where he's supposed to be. And he's with you all the time. And that's a problem. So where would do you, where do he need to be? We just ask some questions. Where do he need to be? I mean, last time I checked, if that's your husband and he's not at home and he's not at work or doing something like that or so like where, where do he need to go? And why is that a problem when you had someone bad before and you know what bad is, then you get someone that you know, that's a good, you know, man, you say you pray for that. You wanted that. That's what you have. I will tell you ladies, this most of your men who are decent, hardworking, they're not running the streets. Now they may have their things that they like to do, but they're not running the streets. They're going to be working, coming home. You no, know, no, they got vacation, do something like that. They may have a certain thing they like to do, but they're not going to be out there. And you should be happy that they're not out there doing something or guys always call them and they are, they coming home drunk all the time. You should be happy about that. That you know where your man at at all times. Cause they got some women out here that they man is nowhere accounted for. Don't know where he at. He always lying. He, 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 here, he there. He double talking and triple talking all the time. Finding females, you know, calling or what? all kinds of problems that certain women deal with and you don't have that problem. And that's a problem. He act like he got to tell me every time he feel any kind of way. So then you go out, you get a little bit of attention from somebody who don't mean your ass no good. And you let them panties fall off. Why? Because you have gotten complacent with that good man at home because now He's boring. He doing too much. And that's why I say some women want a good man until they actually get one. And you know, a lot of men have dealt with that particular situation that 
they didn't do nothing wrong. They was home. They worked. They provided. And the deal is men, we can't control what, what, what women do. We're not God. We can't change them. But this is the thing, men. They do something like that. Sure, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt like hell. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt having a family breaking up. But I'm tell you from what I've seen in my lifetime, women that do something like that. And you as a man, you don't go and play tit for tat. You don't go try to go sleep with another woman and nothing like that. You just like, okay, all right. That's what you want. That's the life you want. Even though I, I hurt me, but if that's the life you want. I'm gonna let you go ahead on and do that. And you can go chase all the men you want. You can go do all the stuff you want to do. And, I, and I'm going to go ahead on and just, you know, rebuild my life somewhere else. What end up happening, fellas, is you will be okay. You will build and even be bigger, bigger and better than before. But when she's out there basically trying to choose the streets because you're boring she see, she going to find out what those streets give her. And then she going to realize that she made the biggest mistake of her life because she had a decent man and she chose to throw that away by wanting to be in them streets. The problem today is it, to me, this is what I think is boring personally. And I was just talking to my daughter about this going out to a nightclub. You listen to music, you're drinking. The drinks are so high. It's better for you to go buy, buy a bottle at the, at the, at the liquor store and drink it, drink at home with, with, with friends or family, or whatever. You can even get a DJ to come to your house and you could drink whatever you want to do. Right. With people, you know, I just think it's boring personally to be going to a club Drinking drinks that's three and four times higher. You got savages and wolves out here in these places. Okay. And then you want to do this. Some of y'all want to do this every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, wasting money. There, there's a scripture in the Bible that teach you about when you party too much, you come into poverty. The Bible teach that partying too much. You will always come into poverty. Why? If you look at the prices of when you go into these places, then y'all want to get sections and then y'all want to buy, keep buying drinks at 12 to $15. Don't even make sense. And all the money you spend on clothes and going here and going, th that to me is boring. I rather take my money and invest my money into some doggone ETFs or real estate. Or something I know that's going to turn back and, and like I say, look, what's exciting to me is to log in to an account and see, oh shoot, I done made three hundred dollars today. That's exciting. That's not exciting to me to go see some people I don't know and I probably don't even like. Listen to music that I can listen to on my dog on phone or in my car. I got a good sound system in my in my car. I can turn it up and it sound real good, right? Paying for overpriced drinks for what? For what? And if you got somebody at home, male or female, you you not you don't supposed to be in there looking for nothing. No way. I, I'm just saying how I feel about it as a married man. That's just not a place for me. I couldn't. I mean, I don't know too many dudes that's married that say, "Hey, man, let's go to." That's not what dudes do. Now you may go to. A, a sports ball, go to a football game, your basketball. I mean, some things that that's, you know, what guys may do, man, come to the house, make barbecue or something, hang out, talk, you know, th just things that guys like to do. But if you got a good man and I know you, you get used to it, just like, it's like anybody else can get used to it, but realize them streets is deceptive. It's a mirage. You think that you, what you see is better, but it's not. There's no need to jump in here hollering about 
Men do the same thing. We ain't talking about them. We talking about us. And men, there's no need for you to jump in my comments talking about save this queen because mm -mm, this ain't about you. Okay? Because all y'all ain't no good men. Yeah, she's right. Not every man is a good man. She's 100% right by that. We know that, Pookie and Ray Ray. So with that being said, even if, even if, even if, because let me flip this on the other side too, just to be fair, men, some of you got good women and you're not treating them right. And some of you are trying to be in these streets too. And when that woman go and she has a right to, when you're doing her wrong and cheating and all kinds of other stuff you're doing, you're going to regret that too. It goes both ways. But I was talking more so on the woman's side because this is what this sister was talking about. God, if God blesses you with a good wife, a good husband, and you mess it up, God not going to give too many of his children to you no more because God don't want to, don't want to, his children to be hurt. He don't want that. So you, so you'll get what you want. If you want the streets, you'll be given the streets and you're not going to like it because the, the end of the streets is loneliness. Sometimes it can be, you know, uh, horrible physical things, mental trauma, all kinds of things that happen in the streets. Some of y'all go in these, these places, you know, these, these mass shooters shows up all over the place. They do that mess all the time. You in these, these places and these people come and add a place out when you should have been at home with your wife or you should have been at home with your husband. It's okay to have a good time. It's okay to do certain things, but there's nothing wrong with, with being at home. Hey, take vacation, do something. I don't know with the family or even with your spouse, do something like that. But the streets, you got a good man, or a good woman. That's, that's not what you need to be. But let me know, comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. You know, fellas, you know, have you dealt with anything like this and ladies, you know, same thing. Cause you know, some ladies have had been great women and they had some dudes that just wanted to be in the streets and, and felt the same way about them. But let us know.